The internet has become a place where anybody can express themselves or share what they want. And while this is mostly harmless, some people decide to share their darkest secrets and confess to horrifying crimes or acts that they have committed in the past. So that's what we're going to be having a look at today. So here are five incredibly disturbing internet confessions. Number 1. Derek Medina On the 8th of August 2013, a man by the name of Derek Medina posted a status onto Facebook that said the following, I'm going to prison or death sentence for killing my wife. Love you guys, miss you guys, take care Facebook people, you will see me in the news. My wife was punching me and I am not going to stand anymore with the abuse, so I did what I did. I hope you understand me. He also posted a photo of his wife's body with the caption, Rest in peace, Jennifer Alfonso. That same day he was arrested and the story became national news. Medina stated that he killed his wife in self-defense, but this was dismissed for a number of reasons. The first reason being that he shot her eight times, and the second reason being that he had told several friends that if she ever left him, he'd kill her. Two years later in 2015, Medina was convicted of second-degree murder and now faces 25 years to life in prison. Number 2. Agar Hassan In April of 2017, 22-year-old Melinda Vasile was murdered by her former boyfriend, Agar Hassan. He fled the scene and went from Canada to Texas, where he evaded capture for almost three months until he was eventually arrested on the 11th of July. He is currently remaining in custody, but before he was arrested, he actually confessed on Reddit. In a long post, Hassan details his relationship with his former girlfriend and talks about a fight that they had on the night of her murder. He states that after pushing her against the sink, she grabbed a knife and started swinging. He eventually grabbed a knife of his own and stabbed her multiple times. He stated that it was in self-defense and that it was a moment he can't believe happened. But certain patterns that Melinda displayed might say otherwise. For one, she had moved into an apartment with her friend after the couple had consistently fought. And two, there was actually an order from the court that stated that Hassan could not visit her. On the 3rd of April, just a few weeks before the murder, police were called to Melinda's apartment to investigate a domestic-related incident. Hassan was later arrested for breaking and entering and assault. This is not stated in the Reddit post, so it's quite clear that Hassan was trying to paint a better image for himself. Either way, the current case against him is ongoing, but it is probable that he will be given a life sentence. Number 3. Amanda Taylor In 2015, a woman in her 20s known as Amanda Taylor posted a bizarre picture onto Instagram with a bloody knife and an eerie figure in the background that was also bloodied. Although it is difficult to make out what the figure is at first, it turns out that it was her father-in-law, 59-year-old Charles Taylor, who was stabbed 31 times by Amanda. Amanda's husband Rex had taken his own life before this incident occurred, and Amanda blamed Charles for pushing him over the edge. After this Instagram post was made, Amanda was arrested and charged with the murder of her father-in-law and she was sentenced to life in prison. Friends and family of Amanda revealed that she was fascinated with serial killers, but that fascination quickly turned into an obsession and she began fantasizing about the idea of becoming one. She later revealed in several interviews that she was also fascinated with ISIS and even tried to contact them before her arrest. She also stated that she did not regret killing Charles, but instead found it to be somewhat of a release and described it as true freedom. I killed Charlie at 3.27. I purposely did that. Why did you purposely? What happened on 3? Because that's mine and Rex's day. That's our birthday. We have the same okay. birthday. That was always our, our thing was 3.27. Mm -hmm. And a, but I started stabbing him. I had a knife. Um, this is the knife Sean got me for my birthday. It's, and so I just started stabbing him. And um, he stopped moving and Sean hit him to make sure he was dead. Number four, Todd Kolhep. Todd Kolhep was an American serial killer who killed seven people between the years of 2003 and 2016. The killings began when Kolhep went to a motorcycle store to return a bike. The store owners apparently laughed when he tried to return it and embarrassed him for not knowing anything about motorcycles. Kolhep reacted violently and pulled a gun out. He shot and killed all four employees and the bodies were later discovered by a customer. Kolhep got away with this for 13 years, but in 2016, he struck again when he kidnapped 30-year-old Kayla Brown and her boyfriend, Charles David Carver. He shot and killed Carver, but kept Brown locked inside of a storage container. Shortly after the disappearance, Kolhep started posting on Carver's Facebook account, stating that they were alright. 
People were very suspicious of this and investigators decided to trace the couple's last cell phone signal, which led them to Kolhep's house. There, they found Carver's body and Kayla Brown chained up. Shortly after arresting Kolhep, they found two more bodies buried inside his yard. Although the Facebook posts were eerie and suspicious, they weren't full confessions, but Kolhep did post something online where he basically did confess to these crimes, but nobody took him seriously. These posts were the reviews he left on Amazon after purchasing certain products. One of the products that he bought was a black shovel. In his review, he stated that it was good to keep in the car when you have to hide the bodies. In another review, which was for a master padlock, he stated that he had five on a shipping container and that it won't stop them, but sure will slow them down if they are too old to care. This is very ominous, especially given the fact that he did actually use these items against his victims and then basically admitted to these crimes on Amazon. Todd Kolhep was convicted and charged with seven consecutive life sentences in prison. Number 5. Randy Jansen On the 7th of May 2015, a 50-year-old father named Randy Jansen created a chilling post on Facebook that stated that he had murdered his entire family. In the paragraph, he talks about why he did this and states that it was because of his 19-year-old daughter who was suffering from extreme migraines and wasn't getting better. He said that he could see no way to improve her situation, so he shot her in the head. He did the same thing to his wife because he didn't want her to live without her daughter. And finally, he shot his sister because he didn't want her to have to live with his shame. This post came 10 days after the events took place and after he posted it, Jansen took his own life. The story made numerous headlines for a number of reasons, and many memorial services were held for Jansen's family. It is a very upsetting story, and this post remains as a haunting reminder of a very dark day. And that is it for this video, thank you for watching. I try and post creepy, list-based videos like this every week, so if you want to subscribe for that, you can. I'll leave a link down below to all of the footage used, sources, and music if you want to check those out, along with my social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all of which are to Burke 321 But like I said, that's all for now. As always, until next time.